Well, blessings, 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 loved ones, saints of the living God. God is good. God is great. God is righteous. God is holy. God is with you. His name is Emmanuel. Hello, Anna. Hello, everybody joining in. Everbest, what's up? Maxi, what's up? RXP, what's up? Ladybug. And that's Dr. Herman. And then Ladybug again. And my pastors, Rick Cassell, what's up? Jane Cassell, beautiful pastors. Hello, everybody. Come on in, Saito. Come on in, Debbie. God's blessings on you. Come on in, Jill. All the way from Fresno, California. We got Africa. We got America. We got the whole world. God's got the whole world in his hands. And despite us going through whatever we're going through, he's got you. He's holding you. He's loving you. He's healing you right now in the name of Jesus. Hello, Abby. Hello, Francis. God's healing you. Hello, Claudia. What's up? What's up, Dang? D Dan, what's up, Dan? God's blessings on you. Magda, hello, hello, Doreen. Yes, yes, God is good. God is great all the time time even in our hardships even in the darkness even in the sickness god is good and we're going to rebuke sickness what's up seta we're going to rebuke sickness what's up yoli what's up uh blend what's up uh that's apologia what's up what's up the beat what's up chavez family shaz what's up god's good god's great he's got you in his hands remember that he's got you in his hands Oh, let's pray together. Since this is called Sweet Hour of Prayer, why don't we just take it to the Lord? Why don't we just love Him? Why don't we just adore Him? Father, we just love You. We adore You. We're running into Your gates. I mean, oh, those gates are wide open. We run into Your gates with thanksgiving and come into Your courts with praise. And we say, holy, holy, holy is the Lord God Almighty who was and is and is to come. You are good. You are good. You are good. You will be good. You're the greatest God. There is no other God. If there is another God, they got eyes, but they can't see. They got ears, but they can't hear. They got nose, they can't smell. They got hands, they can't touch. They got feet, they can't run. They can't do nothing but our god he can do all things and oh lord there's coming a day hello amy there's coming a day hello miss forever jones there's coming a day hello my sister lydia there's coming a day hello jill peterson god's blessings on all of you there is coming a day when every knee shall bow and every tongue's gonna confess whether you like him or you don't whether you hate him or love him you go and go down on your knees father they're gonna go down all of us gonna go down on our knees and say praise you holy holy god is good god is my creator god is my redeemer god is my helper god is my provider when i don't have enough he is enough when there is darkness all around me he's the light within me when i fall he will make me rise and that's what's gonna happen when i'm sick he's gonna make me well because he already made me well he already did heal me according to first peter 2 24 hallelujah to the lamb Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. Yes. Amen. Pray. Pray, pray. When you're tired, pray. When you're sick, pray. When you're depressed, pray. When you're confused, pray. You like, hey, you like, I can't pray a lot. Pray in your mind. Ain't nobody gonna stop you. You just like, oh Lord, I'm in a situation. I can't get out. I need your help. Help me, Lord, Father, God, give me wisdom. Give me understanding. Give me counsel. Give me power so that I may trudge through this and I may make it through it. Yes, yes, that's your Lord. That's your provider. There's the lamb that was slain, and that lamb was slain for you and me so that you and I, you and I can be whole. And, that, and that's Zozo. Y'all know the word Zozo in the in Greek? That's Zozo. In the Greek, that's salvation. Salvation is not only to send, uh, get you and me out of hell, which is a good thing, by the way, because that's eternity. But salvation, Zozo, is to give you health. Woo! It's to give your mind no oppression. And it's to give your body whole healing. And it's to get those holes in the pocket where the change is falling out. Those holes to shut down and you retain what God has given you. And now not not only do we retain it, but we give it. What's up, Effie Graham? What's up, uh Nia? Hello, hello, Tina. God's blessings on y'all. We just give it away. See, if God, if God could get it through you, he will get it to you. You feel 
You get me? If he can get it through you, what's up, Coco? If he can get it through you, he gets it to you. That means we ain't hogs. We ain't like, oh, I'm hogging all this. It's mine. No, it ain't. Nothing's yours. Nothing's mine. It's all God's. It all belongs to him. Hallelujah. Y'all ready? Y'all ready? Okay, okay. We're going to go to 2 Kings. Y'all got your Bibles? I know I caused a lot of ruckus last week. <laughs> what's up, G-Friend? What's up, uh, Karen? Karen, she's from, oh, we got Europe here. We got Africa here. We got America here. We got the whole world. I'm telling y'all. Um, Y'all remember I went to King's. What's up, our Jerusalem friend from England? God bless you. What's up, T-Ball, Effie Graham? Okay, so, yeah, King James Version. I know, look, do what the Lord tells you to do. It's just, just because I went to King James, I'm not forcing nobody. Just do what the Lord, when the Holy Spirit leads you, you, what's up, bun? What's up, LK83? So, um, look, whatever the Holy Spirit tells you, you got to do. That's all, that's all, that's all, that's it. That's the bottom line. So we're going to go to 2 Kings chapter 5. Now we're stuck in 2 Kings. You know, y'all know we were stuck in Mark. Then we were stuck in Numbers. Now we're stuck in 2 Kings. I just, oh my gosh, she's showing me so much. And I'm so excited to share it with you. Y'all ready? Y'all ready to, to sing a song with me? Like this. It goes like, it's in the heart of God. It's like, there is a place of quiet rest. Near to the heart of God, a place where sin cannot molest. Near to the heart of God, oh Jesus, blessed Redeemer, sent from the heart of God. Is that beautiful? He was sent from the heart of God just for you. If you don't know Jesus Christ today, know one thing, that you and I, all of us have sinned and all of us have fallen short of the glory of God. And God sent His only Son, Jesus Christ, from His heart. Not I'm like, oh, I guess I got to send it to these losers down here on earth. No, he's like, I want to send it to my beloved down here on earth. You remember he loved us, Romans 5, 8, before we were, when we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. Mm -hmm. So he sent it from his heart. God sent it. Oh, Jesus, bless Redeemer, sent from the heart of God. Hold us who wait before you, near to the heart of God. He's holding you near his heart today, loved one. Saint, he's holding you. I, I know you may be going through a lot of things, but he's holding you in his heart. You may be like going through sickness. You may be going through financial crisis. You may be going through heartaches in your family. You may be going through hardships at your work. You may be going through all kinds of things, fallen, a darkness, uh, hit from the left, hit from the right. He's holding you close. To, don't you, don't forget it. He's holding you close to his heart. He's holding you close to his heart. There is a place of comfort sweet near to the heart of God. A place where we are Savior meet right here. Right here, all over the world, from Africa to Switzerland to, Swi uh, uh, to, to uh, England to America to Canada to Mexico to Argentina, all over the place. Near to the heart of God. Oh, Jesus, bless Redeemer, sent from the heart of God. Hold us who wait before Thee, near to the heart of God. Hold us, hold us. There is a place of full release, near to the heart of God. A place where all is joy and peace, near to the heart of God. Oh, Jesus, bless Redeemer, sent from the heart of our God. Hold us who wait before you, near to the heart. Of our Father, our God. What's up, Doris? 
What's up, Moni? How y'all doing? What's up, Murray Bigley? How y'all doing? Come on in. Come on in. We're going to the near the heart of God. We ain't going far from the heart of God. We're coming to the near, to the heart of God, where he will bless us and keep us and hold us and renew us and revive us and resuscitate us. And that's what we're here for, so that we can be revived and renewed in him. You remember one thing? He's going to make all things new. All things. What's up, Denny? And handbags. He's going to make all things new. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So we got uh, we got 2 Kings chapter 2 Kings chapter 5. 2 Kings, Dos Kings, Yergu in Armenian, English 2. 2 Kings chapter 5 and we hear and in the Hebrew bet. I left bet. So here we go. Now Naaman, captain of the host of the king of Syria, uh, was a great man with his master and honorable because by him the Lord had given him deliverance to Syria. He was also a mighty man of valor, but he was a leper. This man, uh, his name is Naaman. He's from Syria. That's north of Israel, north of Jerusalem, north. Uh, and and uh, they, they are, I mean, the mighty powers at that time. It's about, again, 850 years before Christ. And, and Naaman's like a warrior. He's valiant. He's loved. He's a hero. He's like on posters. They're like, ooh, that's Naaman. And people go crazy when they see Naaman. They go, oh, oh, that's Naaman. Uh, that's the great. He's a warrior. He wins all their battles. They go from land to land, and they conquer and conquer, and they win, and they win. But interestingly enough, it says in chapter 5, verse 1, that the Lord had given the deliverance. The Lord God had given Syria deliverance against Israel. Now look here. Do you think Israel is, is no, oh, God is only for Jews or, or Israel, and he, he's the God of the Jews, and he's God of Israel, and that's it. No, he's the God of the whole world. He got the whole world in his hands. He loves you no matter where you are, no matter what you come from, no matter what your background, he loves you. Yeah, he loves you. He loves you deeply. He loves you. He loves you profoundly. And so Naaman is a warrior from Syria, north of Israel, the enemy of Israel. And, and God has given that, that country, that God has given them deliverance and power over Israel. Why? Tell you why. Because Israel is in the midst of idolatry. They go up to Dan, uh, all the way north of Israel, just be below south of Syria. They're worshiping an idol, a calf. Holy, holy, holy. That ain't, your, that ain't your God. God is your God. And they go down to Bethel, still in Israel, and they're like, holy, 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 this is your God. That ain't your God. God got you the promised land. This promised land has become the broken land. Uh-huh. And God has given him victory. God has given Naaman uh, a, a Syrian man, a warrior, great, great victory. You know, it's I believe it was in Daniel chapter 2, verse 21, when, when Daniel was like, uh, King Nebuchadnezzar had a dream and, and nobody could interpret it, and the king had forgotten the dream, and he's like, uh, who if y'all don't tell me the dream, I'm going to kill you all. And then Daniel's like, wait, 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 give me time, give me time. He goes to the Lord, he gets the prayer, and, and he gets the vision, and God tells him what, what kind of vision King Nebuchadnezzar had, right? And so he gives him the vision, and Daniel, when he gets the vision, he don't go, oh, thank you, bye. Uh, Thankless. No, no, no. I, I'm meeting a lot of thankless people. Let me ask you this. Are you thankless? Oh, please don't say yes. Please, please. Please. And if you are thankless, if I am thankless, it's time to change, right? It's time to change. Right on. So no more thanklessness. Daniel got the prayer. Daniel got the vision. And he goes, Lord, thank you. You are the God who puts up kings and you are the God who puts down kings. Ooh. What's up, Penny Poe? What's up? Uh, that's my brother Jordan. What's up? Okay, so, yeah, uh, yeah, he puts up kings and he puts down kings. That's what Daniel was praying. That's what he was praying. What's up, Art? What's up, Murray? Uh, uh, that's what he was praying. Uh, thank you, Lord. G telling us that God is the God of the universe. Up kings, down kings. Just remember that. Remember when people are in power, God has the power He's got the power to put people up. He's got the power to pull them down. But but Naaman, this great man, I mean, he got like A to Z, Z to A. Ooh, A plus. But he's a leper. We got stuck on the L. He's a leper. And you know, oh man, in Israel, if you were a leper, that was it. You know, it's it, we can find it. 
in, in Leviticus, if we go back in Leviticus chapter 13, and, and the leper, the, there was rules and laws of the leper. I mean, they had to cover their face and go, I'm a leper, I'm a leper, I'm unclean, I'm unclean. And, and it, was, it was like, um, it was like uh, having, it was like sin. Yeah, that's how they, it was like divine punishment at that time. And so um, they used to cover themselves. They had to be out of the city. They couldn't even be in the city. And they had to be out of the city. And so do you remember that? You remember in Numbers 12, we studied Miriam. She like, what's up with you, Moses? You think you're all that? Ooh, no, no, no. Talking about the leader. That was her brother. She's talking bad. She's talking smack. She's talking trash talk with Aaron and they're talking they're all talking trash talk and all of a sudden all of a sudden she gets leprosy so leprosy is a sickness of the skin and it is insidious it starts slowly it starts under the skin then it pops out and all of a sudden you you get white as snow and they start losing their digits and their nose it's terrible it's contagious there's about a hundred cases per year in America now um, and so it's not much at that time it was awful and so Naaman um, and now we got antibiotics by the way hello we got antibiotics they ain't got no antibiotics up in here and so uh, that was awful at that time for them for her to uh, for uh, whether it was uh, Miriam or whether it was Naaman and so uh, that's what he had he had leprosy but I guess in Syria in Syria they didn't uh, they didn't put him out of the country they didn't put him out of the city because because He's, he's a warrior. He's winning wars. In Israel, they're like, oh, a contagious. It, not, not so much in uh, Syria because he's everywhere. And so, and the Syrians had gone out the, in companies and had brought away a captive out of the land of Israel, a little maid. So in chapter 2, I mean, verse 2, chapter 5, verse 2, they got this little girl as a captive and they bring her. Does that remind you of somebody like Joseph? He was a captive. He was, uh, he was sold to the Midianites. He was taken to Egypt. He was in Potiphar's hands. And, and so it kind of reminds me of Joseph. It kind of reminds me of Daniel. Daniel was stripped out of Jerusalem, and he was taken to um, Babylon. And so this is like a little maid, and, and she's waiting on Mrs. Naaman. She's helping Mrs. Naaman. And, and it's amazing that she said to his mistress, Oh, God, if God, uh, if I could just, oh, if uh, my, my, my king, my, my captain, if Naaman could only just go to the prophet of the living God in Israel, his name is Elisha, if he could just go there, he, he would be healed now look at here look at the look at the attitude of this young maiden who is a captive and a slave she's not like oh my life is my life sucks i hate this life god i can't stand you what you do to me you know i don't know i hope you ain't like that right in the midst of hardship daniel wasn't like that in the midst of hardship joseph wasn't like that in the midst of hardship this little maiden ain't like that in the midst of hardship what you like what am i like huh what's up ruth what are we like? She's helping people in the midst of hardship. You know why? Because it's not all about her. Let me ask you, is your life all about you? If you're depressed, that's why you're depressed. Because your life is all about you. Snap out of it, saint. Snap out of it in the name of Jesus. I command that that demonic force of depression leave you in the name of Jesus right now. You and your family. You, you be anointed with the blood of the Lamb. It is all about Jesus Christ. It is about serving others. It is about loving others. Yes, we are not stupid and we have hard times in our life, but it ain't about us. And this young lady, she's about others. Oh, I like it. I like it. I like it. That's the way I like it. And that's the way you're going to like it with me because we're going to be like this in our hardship we're going to serve hallelujah not because we have to <laughs> don't make me do it. stop it we're going to serve because we are filled with joy Ooh, i like it like it like it and she said to her mistress would god my lord were the prophet that in samaria uh for he would be he would recover out of his leprosy and then one and then one went in that means naaman went into the king and said hey this maiden said this you think you think you think and the king of syria uh whose name was ben hadad by the way in verse five 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 uh, and the king of Syria said, I'll send you with a letter. I'll send you with gold and silver and raiments, which is garments and, and clothing. This is about like 3.5 to $4 million worth of gifts he's sending. This ain't like little cheapo cheapo. 
This ain't, this is not, you know what? You don't serve a God who's El Chipo. You know that, right? You serve a God whose name is El Shaddai. Now start acting like it, y'all. Okay, so now this is like expensive gifts. You feel me? Expensive gifts. And and uh, he brought, and, and so the, he goes, Naaman goes from Syria down into Israel, south Israel, uh, and, and to the northern part of Israel. But he goes south because he's in Syria, which is north of Israel. And so he goes down, uh, and then he go, he gives the letter, and and uh, the letter reads that uh, you know he, this is Naaman, he's my captain, he's the greatest. Um, people knew him anyway, you know. People not only in Syria knew him. This boy was global, and so people in Israel know him because he's the one that's beating them up. He's the one. What's up, country treasure? He's the one beating him up. He's the one winning all the wars. And so Naaman comes to the king of Israel and says, you know, the letter says uh, the king is writing, Syrian king is writing to the Israelite king whose name is Jehoram, godless. And he and he's like, uh, uh, save, uh, heal my heal my warrior. And the king of Israel reads the letter and he rents his clothes, rents his clothes. What does it mean? Like he went to 7-Eleven and rented something? No. He rents his clothes, meaning he tore his clothes. He tore his clothes. Now that was something, you know, in, in the Bible, we read it all over the place like, oh, sad, sad, sad story. In 2 Samuel 13, y'all remember, um, uh, King David had a daughter. She was beautiful. Her name was Tamar. And she had a stepbrother who loved her and uh, wanted to marry her and ended up raping her. And, and then she's like, and then after he raped her, he's like, oh, I hate you. And she's like, what have you done to me? You've destroyed my life and you've destroyed everything I am. At least marry me. And he's like, I hate you. Get out of my face. She tears her clothes. as in my life is over. So people who tore their clothes were during the time of hardship and um, during the time of darkness and during the time of immense loss. And So this dude is tearing his clothes, but I tell you something in Joel chapter 2 verse 13. In Joel chapter 2, that's the minor prophet. He's like, don't be tearing your clothes. I don't want to see it. God's talking. He's like, I don't want to. Don't fake me out here. The Pharisees tore their clothes and they're like, blasphemy! When Jesus was in front of them, blasphemy! Really? Jesus is like, don't, don't rend your clothes. Rend your heart. Mm -hmm. Draw me to, near to the heart of God. Lord, Lord God, draw us near to your heart. Lord God, let us not rend our clothes and act all beautiful and act like we are all that. Lord, let us rend our hearts and come near to you as you draw near to us. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So he rends his clothes and is like, am I God? I can't do this. I can't heal somebody. I can't cure somebody. Good. At least this godless uh, king of Israel knows there is a God. Uh, hello. And it was when uh, Elisha, the man of God, heard, okay, news went out. Somebody got on the computers and sent it out. Oh, the king tore his clothes. Oh, the king tore his clothes. Oh, the king tore his clothes. Oh, Naaman's here. Naaman's here. His chariots are here. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my God. Oh, everybody's tripping, tripping. Hello, Diana. Everybody's tripping. Hello, Bee Birds 47. Everybody's going crazy. And then so uh, Elisha hears of this, and he's like, okay, uh, is there no God in this is the, in this house? Is there no God? My God is God, and the, He has a prophet. He's talking about himself. And and bring the man to me. Just bring him to me. And so Naaman comes to him. And now we're in uh, verse nine, chapter five, verse nine. Naaman comes to him, and so Naaman came with horses and chariots and stood in the door of Elisha. And um, and Elisha doesn't come out. Ooh. Is this disrespect? No, it ain't disrespect. You know why Elisha doesn't come out? He's not like, oh, <clears throat> thank you. I'm the prophet. <laughs> you feel me? Yes. You ever see people talk like, yes. <laughs> what? It's not about you. It's not about you. It's about God. And Elisha ain't coming out because he's not like about him. It's not, he don't care about himself. He cares about Israel. He cares about God. He cares about people. He cares about salvation. It's not about you, pretty boy. It ain't about you, pretty girl. It's about Jesus. And so he don't come out. 
He comes here. What's up, Diana? He comes out. Uh, he, he sends his servant Gehazi, and Gehazi comes, and Gehazi, he's like, well, yeah, you got to go down to the Jordan River, and you got to dip yourself seven times, bye, and he leaves, and so you got to go to the Jordan River, got to dip yourself seven times in the Jordan River, and that's it, bye-bye, and so Naaman's angry, he's like, oh my gosh, I've got, I've got like uh, the rivers of uh, Abana and Parfar, in verse 12, in, in uh, where, I, where I live in Damascus, they're much better than Jordan. I got to go, I got to go, and I got to dunk myself. I got to dunk myself. And this nasty river, Jordan River is kind of nasty. Y'all see little cartoons and little things. And what's up, Bella? Uh, Y'all see like uh, all kinds of things. Uh, welcome, Bella. Uh, Y'all see all kinds of things uh, in, in the uh, movies, and it's all clean. Jordan River's kind of nasty because it comes all the way down from the north, uh, down all the way to the Dead Sea, and it's, it's pretty nasty. Um, it's, it's murky. And so it, he's mad. He's like, wait, I'm the, I'm the warrior. I'm a warrior. I'm go I got better rivers in Damascus. You telling me and his servants are like my father, my father, they don't that ain't his children. They're just calling him my father. That's an old testament way of calling, you know, of respecting somebody. My father, my father, if if the prophet had told you to uh, like climb a high mountain or or uh, or go, go and defeat many nations, wouldn't you have done it? Now now the, it's a simple thing, please, please. That what they're saying is humble yourself. He told you to do what he told you to do. Just humble yourself. Just humble yourself. And so he goes He goes and dips seven times. I'm sure it's like, you know, seven. Y'all know what seven is. Seven is perfection. It's right. In the seventh day, God rested because his work was complete. That's what seven is. It's completion. You know, the wall of Jericho where the Israelites walk seven times. And on the seventh day, they walk seven times. And so seven is perfection. It's completeness. And so he has to dip himself seven times. And this is a no voodoo thing. It's just that the word of God is saying whatever God does is complete. Whatever God does is right. Whatever God does is righteous and it's good and it's for favor. Yes, and so it dips himself like one, two, and he goes on. He's looking at himself. He's all white. He's not good. Six. And I said, oh, 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 I'm, cl I'm clean. I'm clean. I'm clean. Can you just imagine? Can you imagine? Can you imagine the man was leper? He was a mighty warrior, a valent, and now he's like, he's clean. But it said, but he was a leper. But now, but now he no longer, he is clean. He is whole. He is whole. So he comes to the man of God and in verse 15. And he stands before him and he said, this is why, this is why. Now Elisha comes out and he says, I know there is no God in all the earth. But in Israel, Ooh, that's why, that's why you live. That's why you live. You and I live to show off Jesus. You and I live to show his great name. You and I live to show the power of the Holy Ghost. You and I don't live for ourselves. Get it in your mind. That's why people, saints, that's why people are depressed. <laughs> that's why people are depressed. I know I got I got you. I'm in the medical world. I got I understand there's hormonal imbalances and stuff like I got you. I got you. But I'm telling you, the majority of the peoples are depressed because it's all about them and they don't like what they see. You don't like what you don't see? Go dunk yourself in the Jordan River seven times. Dunk yourself in the Word of God and you're going to like what you see because the Word of God is going to heal you. The Word of God is going to save you. The Word of God is going to propel you. The Word of God is going to uplift you. Come on. Come on. It's time to stop acting like children. Spoiled children, I'd say. Time to act like a prince and a princess of the living God. Come on. And he uh, and then Naaman, he tried to give him all kinds of gifts. And, and Elisha is like, no. Nah. You know why he says no? Because other times Elisha will take gifts. But you know why he says no? Because this is salvation. Salvation is free. He dunked himself. This is not only healing of the body. This was healing of the soul. Prove you. Here we go. He's like, can I get two mules worth of burden of earth? You're like, what is this? He wants some dirt. He wants some earth. What is going on? Naaman is asking Elisha if I can get some of the dirt off here. Why? Because at that time, a certain country like Babylon and Baal or Israel and God Jehovah were associated. A, a certain God was associated. A certain God was associated with that land. And so he, what he's saying, I'm going back. 
I'm going back to Syria, but I'm taking this dirt here because the God I serve is the God of Israel. And I don't mean we serve the dirt. I don't mean you got to be in a certain location. Look at all our look at look at all our loved ones here. What's up, Floor? Look at all our loved ones. What's up, Camille? Essence? Look at all our loved ones right here from all over the world listening uh, together. Where God is where you are. He is He is in you if you have the blood of Jesus Christ. But at that time, he was like saying, No, look. Only one God. He comes from Syria. He look at he goes when when my Lord his king Ben Hadad when he goes back up Naaman when he goes back up he says my king is going to go into his temple and he's going to serve the God in eighteen uh, called Ramon, not Ramon but Ramon, uh, uh, and 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 he's gonna he's gonna bow before he's gonna bow before that idol and I have to hold him and because he's bowing I have to go down with him but I'm not bowing down is that okay is that okay I bow, uh, and and uh, when I bow down myself in the house of God the Lord pardon your servant please pardon your servant let, let God pardon me for doing that act and you know instead of he saying oh what you just became a Christian you better you better watch yourself you better not go into the temple you better not bow down with him you better stop all this mess no sometimes sometimes we try to clean the fish before we catch it y'all can write that down sometimes we try to clean the fish before we catch the fish let the Holy Spirit work the Holy Spirit can be a much better Holy Spirit than you and I can be. And so what does Elisha say? And he said to him, go in peace. And he departed his way. Go in peace. That means the Lord's going to take care of it. And no matter what you're going through today, what's up, Tracy? Go in peace. Don't go in turmoil. Don't go be tripping out on yourself. Don't go in depression. Don't go in sickness. Don't go in disbelief. Don't go in poverty. Don't go in anger. Don't go in rage. Go in peace. The Lord God is with you. The Lord God is with you. The Lord God. What's up, Raj? The Lord God is with you. Oh, Jesus, bless Redeemer, send from the heart of God. Hold us who wait before you, near to the heart of God. Come near, draw near to God, and he will draw near to you in the name of Jesus. We just stopped right in the middle of that chapter. Y'all know what that means? That means we're going to continue next week. That's what it means, y'all. It's so good to be with y'all. Y'all sharpening me. You're sharpening me. Let me tell you, you're sharpening me. I love you all. I'm so thankful for you. What's up, Azo? Uh, uh, y'all sharpening me. Y'all, I'm telling you, this is this is so good that that the children of God, the saints of God, get together. We are changing the world. That's right. By the grace of God. By the grace of God. May it be so. God bless you. God keep you. Yeah, yeah, God shine, 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 shine his face upon you. God be gracious to you. Yeah, turn your face and say, God shine on me. Shine on me. I'm, I'm your saint. I'm your child. I, 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 I am yours. I'm your beloved. I know you love me. I love you. Thank you, Father. I'm going to be happy. I'm going to be joyful in you. No matter what nobody says, I'm going to be joyful. And I am healed. And I am strong in the power of the Lord God. Amen. Amen. Love you all. Be good, be well, be strong. See y'all again. Blessings. Bye-bye, <laughs> y'all. Bye-bye.